قال معروف و مفرت خیر من سادہ قطیت با ہوا ازا اکائنڈ ورڈ اینڈ فرگیونس از مچ بیٹر دین چیریٹی فالوڈ بائی انجری یو گیو سم تھنگ ٹو سم بڈی اینڈ دین یو انجر ہز فیلنگس یو انجر ہز سینس آف سیلف ریسپیکٹ سیلف آنر دی بیٹر تھنگ وڈ ہیو بین یو شوڈ ہیو سیڈ سم کائنڈ ورڈ ٹو ہیم اینڈ دین آسٹ ہز پارڈن اینڈ فرگیونس A kind word and forgiveness are better than charity followed by injury. Wallahu ghaniyur halim and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is self-sufficient. He doesn't need your help. He can feed and support his supporters. It's only a test for you that he has given you surplus wealth. Whether you spend it for the cause of Allah or not, it's only a testing for you. Allah is not poor. Allah can support his supporters allah can maintain his armies himself but you know he's testing you wallahu ghaniyyul halim allah is self sufficient and he is forbearing ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la tubtilu sadaqatakum bil manni wal hasa o you who believe do not render vain your charity by mentioning your generosity and by the injuring the feelings of those to whom you have given that charity kallazi yunfiqu ba'dahu ri'an nas in the same way as that person who is spending his money to show off to the people wala yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir whoever is giving his money and spending his wealth to show off to the people so that they should praise him he has no iman on allah wala yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir he doesn't have any faith in allah nor does he believe in the last day fa masaluhu ka masal safwan so is his similitude or likeliness is to the likeliness of a very smooth rock alayhi turabun or it was some dust was there someone he cultivated in that dust he put some seeds in that dust now a crop was there he was hoping to have the harvest but suddenly fasabahu wabilun a very strong and heavy rain fell and left it bare now everything was washed off because the clay was very shallow beneath it was very smooth rock and on that shallow clay you had cultivated and you had uh, put the seed and now the harvest was there it has no roots when a strong and heavy rain fell everything was washed off and now the the, the rock was there there la yaqdiruna ala shay mimma kasabu they have no control for which they labored they labored so much they cultivated they spent they put the seed there but now everything is gone and they can have no control over any of their their labor that they spent there wallahu la yahdi al qawm al kafirin this is the simile of who who is spending their money or wealth only to show off their generosity to the people not real iman or in the hereafter they are not doing so sincerely for allah and his pleasure wallahu la yahdi al qawm al kafirin and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't guide such people who are denying and who are denying the real faith wa masalu alladhina yunfiquna amwalahum ittiga marwat illah the same principle of simultaneous contrast they are opposed to such people which we have discussed before the masalu alladhina yunfiquna amwalahum ittiga marwat illah the likeliness or similitude of those people who spend their money only to get the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa taala wa tasbitam min anfusihim and they want strengthening of their own souls i am spending so that allah may be pleased and my spirit may be purified dual purpose can be there you are spending for the cause of allah so that allah is pleased and your own soul your own ruh 
your own spirit is purified tazkiyah that is why you know for this ibadah for this mode of worship particular mode of worship in which you give your money that is called zakah purifying thing it purifies the souls of the people tasbita min alfatihim whosoever is spending their money in this way for pleasing allah and purification of their and strengthening of their souls their example is kamasal jannatin bi rabbatin example or simile of a garden which is on a raised place asabaha wabilun if there is strong rain heavy rain faata tukulaha they fail that garden gives the fruit twice twofold fa in lam yusibaha wabilun if there is not very heavy rain faqal then a small drizzle would also benefit the garden the fruit will be there anyhow the garden will not be washed away with the with the, with the strong rain because it is not on a smooth rock it is there on a raised platform wallahu bima ta'maluna basir and whatever you are doing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is seeing it ayamadu ahadukum does anybody amongst you like and taqul lahu jannatun that there may be for him a garden min nakhilin wa anabin in that garden there may be the date palms and the grapes the wines tajri min taqi al anhar in that garden there are streams are flowing lahu fiha bil kulli samarat in that garden for him there are all types of fruit wa asabahu al-kibr and now old age has overtaken him so this is a simile just imagine a person a very old person he worked very hard he cultivated plants he prepared a garden now he has a garden of date palms then there are the there the orchards and the vines and everything is there water is flowing all sorts of fruits are there and now the old age has overtaken him wallahu zurriyatun zuafa and he his progeny his sons and daughters are weaklings very young in age they need protection fa asabaha asaru suddenly on some day some occasion a fiery whirlwind comes strikes that garden fahtarakat and the whole garden got burnt up kazalika yubayyinullahu lakum alayat la'allakum tatafakkarun in this way allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes his ayat plain for you clear for you so that you may ponder over them you may reflect over them now this is actually similarly what is the the lesson in it a person has been doing charity and doing everything suddenly when he he will be raised from the dead he will find that done nothing because i was not sincere whatever i was doing i was doing only to get good name good praise from the people not for the sake of allah subhanahu wa taala whosoever is doing any good work any charity for riyaul nas to show off to the people he will find himself in the position of that old person who who whose whole, whole life's hard labor has gone in one incident barak allah li wa lakum fil qur'an al azim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum bil ayati wa dhikri al hakim